Spirit is God and the bride is you. I don't know if you ever think of it that way. You know, we talk about the church, we talk about her. And there's a reason. <laughs> and uh, what I've realized in my life is that my sin brought Jesus the first time. But it's the church ushering in the kingdom of God by feeding the poor, by spreading the gospel. That's going to help usher him in the second time. So if you think you're underqualified to be a follower of Jesus because of your past or because of things you've done, well, that's what brought him here in the first place. And he already died and rose for that. But if you're sort of standing on the sidelines right now and you're not really being an active, fully engaged member of the body of Christ, well, you're missing out. Because we pray every Mass. You know, we pray the Our Father and then there's this part which I love that the presider says is, deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day and your mercy keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, what does that waiting and joyful hope look like? It looks like us living out the gospel. Amen? So, uh, uh, if you're kind of tired in your faith or burnt out, it's okay. God's inviting you tonight to invite Him to change your heart. And if you've been hurt by the church in the past, it's okay. God's inviting you to pray for the grace to be a Christian by showing forgiveness. Wherever you are tonight, God's inviting you to invite you. For the Spirit and the Bride say,